The first day of training camp, a lot of guys are just, you know, anxious, just ready to get on the field. First day of practice, I was very ready. My dream was always to play for the University of Miami. I wanted to get the first day out of the way, and I wanted to see how it felt to be a Kane player for the first time. Bobby, hit it. Malcolm, he's like a speedy, strong, shifty receiver. Tracy Howard he is very hard working. He likes to be the first one to practice and the last one to leave. Take these. I know Malcolm and Tracy both from Optimus. He played at Liberty City Optimus. I played at Miami Gardens Optimus. So we basically built the bond early. All right, keep stretching, keep stretching, keep stretching. Drew Johnson, he's a great player. I've known him for like a year now. In high school, went to a couple camps and stuff together. Actually, my team beat his team in a championship. Raphael and Tracy was on the same team in the championship. Raphael Kirby, sometimes I forget, you know, he's a freshman, you know, he came in the spring, you know, so he knew more than us coming in. You know, he just helped us a lot. You know, I even went to his room sometimes asking about calls, uh, you know, and he told me. Whoop it up! You know where you're going? Terry's over here. First day of training camp, there were a lot of guys that didn't really know where to go and like different stations set up. And I can relate to that because my, my spring semester here, I went through the same thing. The first day, it was kind of crazy. I was just watching everybody running around. College is like everything moving rapid. Beep. Next five minutes. Beep. Take a deep breath and understand what we're doing. First day, yeah, break. That was a good drop. That was a good drop. So I'm looking around like, where to go, where to go. Coach had called break. And Duke looked straight at me like, what that mean? When I seen Mike run, Mike started laughing and ran past me, and I just followed Mike. You know, he's just like all over the place, like, you know, what's next, what's next, what's next? You know, just, he got to learn the ropes. When I seen everybody take their helmet off and took a knee and start drinking, that's when I kind of figured out where to go. A lot of athletes, you know, a lot of people just take for granted, you know, just knowing where to go, just knowing what to do and how to do it. Not knowing what periods mean, what things mean, you know. Three-step indie! Three-step indie! It's our responsibility as seniors and as leaders, you know, to lead those younger guys. Brandon McGee, you know, he's an older guy. You know, he's my mentor. Coach wanted him to help me a lot, you know, and he really does. He even asked me, hey, uh, little bro, you good? You know the coverages? So I say, yeah. He'd be like, okay, just let me know. Good. Good, I love it. I love it. You know, so I like that. Yo, let's go. Alan Hearns, you know, he gets me right on my routes. How I put the breakdown. He was a very good mentor to me. Any little thing that you can give him that competitive edge, that competitive advantage, you know, you do it. You know, hand placement or eye placement or make sure your feet in the right place. Most people don't know it, but they just watch the game, but you got to put in a lot of hard work to get good results. They feel very good. They know they're going to help me. These young guys, they're here to compete. You know, they're here to get better. They're Miami Hurricanes, and it's a brotherhood. It's a family. You know, when they get better, you know, at older guys, we get better as well. We're supposed to help you, Kobe. We're trying to set a standard. We need everybody to know what they're doing on the field. You can tell that the freshmen care just by the way they attack them. It's like, hey, I'm here. What can I do to help? I want to win. That's it. Coach Golden don't want you coming in here saying, oh, I'm a freshman, and just because I'm a freshman this and I'm a freshman that. Coach Golden expects from you the same thing he expects from the upperclassmen. You got to study in the morning before you leave, study before you go to sleep, and study on all your free time you can and get good repetitions so you can go over it. When I ask a question, I do it to make sure I know that I'm 100% correct, so when I go out there, I can execute. They come out here ready, asking questions. They're ready to compete. They go out there, they're ready to get reps. Suze, Suze, at any point, guys, you got Like Swayze said, the football kids, the football nerds, you know, they want to know everything. They're trying to soak up all the knowledge. They can. They just like sponges. Those guys fit in perfect. I mean, Coach Golden just, he got some of the right guys to be a part of the team because they fit in just perfect. We're continuing that by, you know, teaching these freshmen. This is how you do it the hurricane way. This is the way Coach Golden has taught us, and we're teaching you how to do it the right way.